all we have to do is print the name of the particular actor and the name of the film they are starring in. Let's see how to do it. All I want to do first is to loop the list of our actors and movies, and get the ordered elements from those lists. Then simply print the output. In this case I am using fstring to play with our variables. If you don't know about fstring, I will explain it briefly here. First I create a variable called name, and let's say it's equal to 5 minute python. And print, here we need to create a fstring, to create, put a simple f, in front of quotes like this. Here, I want to print my name as 5 minute python, so I type, my name, is. To print our variable, all we have to do is place the curly brackets where we want to print that variable, and specify the name of our variable within it. Let's run the cell and see what we got. Okay, the output is correct. If I change this into JSON, output will also change. Let's jump into our main code and do this. I say here, actor is going to be actor, and movie is gonna be movie. If we run this we get an error called value error. This is because there is a weak point in the for loop that means you can't unpack multiple lists or tuples in a one moment. To avoid that we use an inbuild python function called zip. If we run this we can get what we expected. Let us see how the zip function works. To see that I create a variable called zipped elements and that is equals to, inside the zip function I put actors and movies. Let's print the zipped element and see what we got. Zipped element as an object so to see the output we should change this into list or tuple or dictionary. In this case I change this into a list. Let's see what the output is. Where the first item in each past iterator is paired together, and then the second item in each past iterator are paired together etc. Here you can notice, it has become a single pack. So let's send this directly into the for loop. This is exactly what we did in our main code we have converted it into a single pack with this zip function. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.